it seem like we feel the same We love what we hate We lie, but we know We can't wait to win. How to communicate and feel the presence of God in your life Hello friends this is Yundan, and today's share is about communicating and feeling the presence of God in your life. This is just a share from my own life experiences and of course from my own reading. As I live my spiritual lifestyle, I am sharing this with you in hope it can help you too. I am not perfect. I am still working with myself and believe me, through this, I feel good with myself knowing that I am not alone, knowing that God guides me, leading me every day. I have to find ways to comfort myself in this foreign country. I live here alone. I need someone to comfort me in all these years as I live day by day with my full responsibility of my children. I have to find God to be with me, to lead me and guide me every day. But how can we do that? Communication is important in every relationship. You have to create a relationship with Him. You have to believe that He is willing to communicate with you as well. But you have to do the work opening the scripture, reading it every day, and understanding what you are reading. To communicate with him, it's easy. Just talk to him like some other people. Just be with him and ask him to be with you. While reading in the scripture, probably it's not easy to understand right away. I know that. But believe me, it will become easier when you have to let him comfort you how to do that surrendering it all to him it is about surrender your life to him surrender all your worries to him surrendering is very important because when you can surrender it all to him that means you trust him that means you believe in him that means you want to have a strong faith. Faith is very important when we let God guide us and lead us every day. When you can do all these things, reading the scripture, meditating, and praying every day, you can feel the presence of God in your life. You can feel that you are divinely protected. You can feel that He is walking by your side every day. You can feel that He stands by you throughout the day. That is what I am feeling when I am doing all these things. Believe me, it's not easy <coughs> at first, but the more you practice it, the more you believe that God is with you all the time, that He is with you, willing to be with you, you can live your best life. You have just to believe in Him, trust Him, communicate with Him through your prayers, meditation, by being silent. It is very important that you have your faith in Him, trust in Him, being silent, feel the feelings of being in the presence of God. Feel the feelings 
that you are not alone by talking to him sincerely. Put your hand in your chest and talk with him. He is there for each and every one of us. There are some relationships that experience the silent treatment whenever one of the partner is not happy with the other instead of talking it out and reaching an understanding they choose to punish their mate by not communicating with them sometimes this can go on hours days and even weeks of course the longer the silent treatment lasts the more danger of the relationship it's okay to take a break think things through and pray about it but then open the door of communication as taking things out is always the best thing plan it's never good to speak in anger because once spoken those hateful words can never be erased there are times that silence is welcome as it gives its other a chance to call up and think more clearly before christ's crucifixion when he was being accused of things he was not guilty of he remained silent and never uttered a word to defend himself this is hard to comprehend but it is human instinct to want vindication whenever falsely accused we can learn a lot from christ's example instead of defending ourselves with righteous indignation we can pray silently for strength to see us through it is through the quiet moments that we can feel god's presence the most set aside time to be silent to meditate on god's word pray reflect and listen to the still small voices of the savior as it says in jeremiah 53 7 he was oppressed and he was afflicted yet he opened not his mouth but he was led as a lamb to the slaughter and as a sheep before in shatters is silent so open not his mouth it says also in Ecclesiastes 3 1 to everything there is a season a time for every purpose under heaven sit a guard O Lord over my mouth keep watch over the door of my lips but it comforts me what is written in Proverbs 19 23 the fear of the Lord leads to life and he who has it will abide in satisfaction he will not be visited with evil to feel the presence of god in our life we must constantly communicate with him through our prayers and meditation and take some minutes or two to read the scripture the scripture will lead you and guide you to what life you want to be. Time to be silent in order for us to feel the presence of God. Have time to be silent. Yes, time to be silent. Need to feel the presence of God I am sharing this with you because many times I hear how can I communicate with God how can I feel the presence of God in my life as simple as it is 
open the scripture read a verse or two even you don't understand just read it and be silent reflect what you have read feel it in your heart pray and meditate that is about communicating with God communicating with the Holy Spirit it needs reading it needs to be silent so have time some minutes in a day to be silent just to feel God's presence in your life we are not alone in this wicked world we have to face different kinds of trials and difficulties it is a part of our life journey but all we have to do come on to God for a word of prayer every day have time to be silent to communicate with him so you can feel his presence this is Yundel thank you for listening Thank you for dropping here in my channel. I am very grateful to each and every one of you supporting me here in my life journey. I love you all and bye bye. Like we feel the same, we 